What is up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Customs. And today is going to be my first build for 2024. And that is, of course, what you see here. The Master Grade Extreme Strike Freedom Gundam Zaps Mobile Suit ZGMF X20A from the Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny Animated Series. This kit came out in 2022, and I remember it vividly when I was at New York Comic Con when Adam Savage from Tested and Mythbusters was right next to this when they were doing the um, the uh, Gundam event at, at the Jacob Javits Center that year, and I saw I saw from a distance how it looked, and they go, oh, I want to buy that. Like, no, please, give it to me now. And obviously it wasn't ready until, like, the following month. And I didn't get this until um, calendar year 2023, and I was hoping to build it for the summer. And I started my Summer of Freedom build, um, which I did my my Freedom, SD Master Grade Freedom, my Real Grade Freedom, um, and my 2.0 Freedom. But by that, and I was like already exhausted of all the freedom. And I was like, you know, I don't think I have the freedom to do this. So let me use some other things. But clearly, I got to begin the year big. And this is it. I was actually going to do a perfect grade or a master grade or a mega scale, whatever. I don't know. But this is it. This is it. What do you guys think? Should I? Right? Right? So yeah, I am ready to build this guy. Because it looks so beautiful with all the gold and trim and all that stuff. And it's appropriate because now, this at the end of this month, we, the um, Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Freedom movie will be coming out. And granted, you know, uh, I, we don't know if this Mobile Suit will be in the movie. We're all seeing pictures of the rising freedom and the um, immortal, uh, is it more immortal justice? Which, um, quite frankly, is good designs. Um, the mat, the high grades look okay. Um, there, the one one hundred scale metal builds are exceptionally amazing, and who knows if we will get a master grade? We don't know. However, by the time this video comes out, and um, you know, maybe Bandai will make an you know surprise announcement. Um, one, no one can tell what will happen in the future. But let's see what happens. Right now, this year, I know they have a lot of things prepared for. The Seed movie is going to be the new hotness. And what better way to start is with Strike Freedom Gundam. Yes. Now, just so you know, I had, I've actually recorded this video maybe two or three times. I even unboxed it. I did an unboxing and it didn't turn out the way I wanted and clearly it wouldn't have looked great if I released it now because there were certain things I said that wasn't pertaining to that time. So I said, I'm going to have to redo it again all over again. And I don't... I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Not that I don't know what to do with it. I know what to do with it. But it's a beautiful kit. Um, and as much as I would love to paint it the way it is, sometimes something tells me... Something tells me to change it. Something is compelling me to change it. We'll discuss that later on. I mean, I will... T what I say, maybe... You know, I'll say one thing now, and then I'll make a change. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll say, no, I'm not going to do it later on, so... We'll just do... We'll play it by ear, as you could say. Shoot it from the hip. You know? Call an audible, if we have to say. For you football fans out there. Now, there is one thing I am doing, and you probably noticed in this video. I'm recording this entire build on 4K. Now, 4K on my phone. I hate doing it on my phone because of the um, airbrushing. I don't know how much, if the paint backsplashes onto my phone. Um, I don't know how the, well the audio comes out with this. It is good audio. You know, I don't have to worry about it. And I've been contemplating on the possibility of replacing my my camcorder that I've used for a long time with something far more advanced. But that's a conversation for another time. 
let's look at how pretty the box is. And of course, this build is sponsored by Gundam Planet for all your Gundam and sci fi needs. Of course, here's what the kit looks like poorly built and painted in detail. The major gimmicks that you see here is, of course, the multiple layers of, of uh, you know, gold that you see here. I have a distinct feeling that that hand and that white part is required if you want to show the inner frame. And I have a distinct feeling that I'm going to be painting everything individually and not, like, building the inner frame and then putting it on. I don't know. I don't know. Some of you who probably already built this are probably going to give me a different um, comment on that. Whoops. Too far. Sorry. Got to get the correct zoom. Now, this thing has everything, including dust. The... The rifles, the two rifles that can turn into one massive, massive mega beam cannon rifle. The two figures, Lacus and Kira. This is, even though it has, I think it has manipulator hands, it, I believe it comes with parts forming hands. So if you don't want to deal with that, it carries its beam, um, you know, beam saber, dual beam saber effect. And the energy beam shield, it looks like you get two of them. And you get an action based stand, that's good. Or is it, wait, yeah, it comes with the special base that is an ideal for displaying the model. Good. And you get this multi-stand. Ooh, this is, this is gold for anybody who has not gotten this yet. Right now. I mean, I know Gundam Plant is selling the multi-stand. Get it while it's hot. Get it? Yeah, this is going to be an enjoyable build. But let's um, open it up. Let's, let me reposition the camera. So I can show the contents of this kit. So give me a few moments. Now, like I said before, I've already did a review unboxing before, and this is like my, like my third try. We'll review the manual in a moment, but for now, let's look at all this bling. Yikes. I can feel the, the grease on my fingers smudging all this as I'm going to open it up and touch it. by white gloves. Here are the energy shields. Beautiful. Yeah. I have to say, I understand that this is required because of, the, you know, from the anime, but I believe it's one of the use, most useless uh, effect parts that you're going to have sitting around forever. If you, unless you put it on on the kit. And, uh, you know, forever on the kit. And that's my you know, my two cents on that. All right, here are all the white parts. Some great details on these white parts here. It is, of course, undergated. It better be undergated. Let's see. That's probably the, the part of the leg. The shoulders. There's the head. And I, I'm, I'm glad that I'm not seeing that the. There's an inner frame arm completely unlike the regular 2.0. So this is a darker gold color, more like a like a copper. I don't know if I have copper. I I have a distinct feeling I do from Eloclad, but it's a copper that's so difficult to airbrush. Now that I got a new airbrush with a better um, you know nozzle. Maybe I can use it, but I'm more afraid to use it because I don't want to damage my own airbrush. 
Now, it's a different shade of gold. Um, unless I'm not looking at this correctly in the white. No, it is a different shade of gold. Oh. This is more blingy. Well, this is more uh, pseudo um, standard. Now, this is just regular gold. Because those parts are going to go right on top of these. And I have a distinct feeling I'm going to be painting those. I'm trying to simulate the same color. Uh, good. They provided with water slide de decals. That's good. Right there. Now we have the effect parts of the, way, of the um, funnels. In the, the blue color. That's good. Here are some charcoal gray parts. Now, this is an off white tone. You see it right here on this plating. So, you have two of these. And then shifting over to this plate, it's this is the black, the black tone colors. And the charcoal colors here again, and the black parts again. These are probably for the wing assembly, and probably for the trim. Here are the lightest blue tone, gray. It could be grayish blue. Um, rail gun parts that I know, and part of the backpack and the vents in front. Also, you've got the beautiful, ooh, the sun came out. Uh, beautiful red colors. It's not a bright red, it's a darker tone red. And we have more gold, gold parts from the other set. This is actually, I believe, the A-plate. Yep, because it's multicolor. So you have uh, the standard hands, the open hands, and close hands. I guess, no, there's no manipulator hands. I'm sorry. I, I was in the distinct impression that we have some... Oh, I'm talking about it's right there. I'm an idiot. So, yeah. You have this, and you have all these hands. You have eyes, clear green, a clear, like a yellow green eyes. A very very light blue tone here for sensors and clear red parts and then you get these little me metallic stickers that you put on you get the action base stand and you get these quite honestly these are the first time I have seen photo etch parts and granted I have a distinct feeling that the mass, the perfect grade Gundam, the Unleash Gundam, has the same features. This is basically, think of this as Strike Freedom Unleashed, but in Master Grade. Imagine if they made a Strike Freedom Unleashed perfect grade. You guys would be losing your mind. And of course, hey, the custom stand. Beautiful. I want to save this. <laughs> okay. Let me put everything back to the way it was. And we're going to review the manual. So give me a second here. Alright, let's look at this beautiful looking manual that we have here. We have the Master Grade Strike Freedom Gundam in its, all its glory. And of course, in all of its blingy. Copper, white, yellow, two types of metallic and etching stickers. Very beautiful in this. Here's the parts guide. Multi color, yellow gold, copper gold, white gold, white, white, multi metallic gray. Um Regular gold, metallic gray. So we got two of these here. 
And we have the black parts, the blue parts, light gray parts, white blue parts, gray and light blue, and the red parts, and then the base. Actually, the red parts is, I believe, clear, but I don't know if, I think maybe it's part of the inner, part of the, uh, the A plate. Could be wrong. And then, of course, the most important part, the assembly of the multi, uh, the multi stand, one of the best part of the kits. Then we have the assembly of the head unit right here, followed by the torso. And then, I may have skipped the page, but from there you have the arm assembly. The hands, the manipulator hands, glad that it comes with that. Shoulder parts. And then we have the waist assembly right there, the inner frame of the waist. The leg frames. A couple of pages here. And then putting it all together there. And then we have the backpack assembly, followed by the wing unit assembly and the dragoons. Which I'm surprised this kit does not come with an action base stand for the dragoons, like the original uh, Master Grade Strike Freedom kit. Well, only if you bought the special edition version. Um, finishing up the dragoon backpack, then you're going to put on, in this page is going to be assembling the uh, armor, beginning with the head, then the torso assembly, and then there the waist unit, the arms, the legs, going all the way down to the tootsies, right there. Then you got to build the the rail guns, multiple layers there, and then put the guns waist. You put the guns to the waist unit, which basically is part of the, the um, side skirts. The assembly of the backpack to the main body. The weaponry, which is basically the two rail guns, and how to connect it to the arm, how to connect the beam saber, the um, beam shield effect, the display stand, and how to mount it on this kit, how the kit is mounted on it, all the gimmicks and features that you can do with this, and then how to open up the wings and display its beautiful attack pattern. How to assemble the long beam, long range beam rifle by basically sandwiching the two guns one one inside the other. And then the placement of the decals is right here. And here's our color guide, the history of Kira and Lacus, and more on the circuit. Nice. And this is what it looks like. This is going to be interesting to build, but how am I going to paint this? Well, let's talk about that. 